Kenny, it's been a, an emotional, a draining week. Uh, sum, up, sum up how you're feeling after a fantastic, hard-fought 1-0 victory here over London United. Well, I'm absolutely delighted. You know, uh, I've never been as glad to hear a final whistle for a long, long time. And I think for the, the effort of everyone, you know, I think uh, at the club, as you say, it's been a really, really difficult week. But it's finished off a difficult week in the, in the best possible manner. And uh, I, w I was delighted uh, with the response that the players gave. And I'm sure that the, Stuart will be delighted after watching that. People might say to you after the game that we rode a luck at times, but if you look back at the match as well, we created plenty as well and you know, can probably feel a bit aggrieved about a goal that was disallowed. Yeah, I think they had uh, they had a number of chances, um, but certainly second half in particular, we, we, we produced two or three decent players of football. Uh, first half, I thought they were probably the, the better side, uh, I've got to be honest. Um, uh, but I think the longer it goes, we, we are, we are a, a fancied team to come and play, the longer it goes without them scoring, it gave our defenders uh, confidence and I thought, it was, I thought a lot of marvellous headers, a lot of marvellous blocks all over the pitch and uh, as I say the guts and endeavour of the players was, was, was magnificent. I was going to say it looked as if the players were running through a brick wall for you out there. Yes, I, that was, as I say, they, 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 they did do that tonight and um, you know, and we, I think when they get the first goal, that's a sort of disappointing thing for St Johnson last week, I think we, we went in front and I could have seen us when Lionel had the chance to go make it 2-0 and keep him made a good save, they break up the park and equalise. That's the fine lines in football, you know, and tonight we've managed to get the goal and, 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 and managed to keep a clean sheet. Nobody will be getting carried away with one victory. It's been a, it's been a difficult period for the football club, but, you know, do you think or hope this is going to give the players some confidence? Because, as you've said before, you know, pre- and post-match, there's some really good players in that dressing room. Yeah, definitely. You know, and we, we, we have a situation where they've just beat the league leaders. They've took a point at... Celtic Park, so they're capable on their day, but we need to get that consistency where we can maybe get a run of games leading up to Christmas and maybe even beyond, where we uh, we start showing much more of these type of displays, and and I think the, the the lads can be very content tonight. But there's no magic wand. People will say because these are the players that Stuart McCall had. There's not been nothing majorly done differently tonight. Uh, so people will maybe say what a change. But sometimes it is a different voice and a different one or two little things but certainly that, that, that result is down to the players that Stuart McCall uh, brought in and um, performed as, as he knew they could do. You're a coach, I'm sure you'll probably just be as happy with the, the, the clean sheet as you are about the goal and the win probably. Well I know Gordon Marshall was delighted with the clean sheet and uh, uh, thanks. Dan, Dan had a couple of great saves yeah, for us Yeah, he had two or three really good stops you know and, uh, and Gordon and, 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 and Scott Leach come down at half time, he was up the stand looking for different bits and pieces and, and, and JJ so it's been a team effort, you know, and uh, and I, I think that just typifies Motherwell, you know, the spirit at Motherwell, and you know, we all we all stuck together even when Stuart was here, and we'll continue to do that until such times where uh, we find out what's happening. You've been thrust into the spotlight a little bit this week. Uh, are you going to enjoy this weekend now? Well, I will do because I'm going to go home and see my my wife and my, my two girls. So I've not been uh, not been home for a few few days, a few weeks, so to speak. So yeah, I'm going to go we'll training tomorrow, and then we'll, uh, I'm going to go down for the weekend and give the lads. The lads are going to get a couple of days off because I think mentally and physically that took a lot out of them this week. So uh, fingers crossed, uh, we'll bring them back in next week and hopefully get more results like that tonight. Kenny, congratulations. Thanks very much.